every school is different and you really have to find the fit for you. Um, the size of the school makes a difference, its location makes a difference, the culture of the student body as well as the faculty. Um, every school has something different to offer and you have to kind of make sure it's true to yourself. Um, we're not in an urban setting, we're a little outside of Boston and it's more of a New England college kind of feel and for some people that's exactly what they're looking for. Very small classes, really a lot of hands-on touching with the faculty, um, a really small community, whereas other people might find an urban school, which is large and lots going on, would be better for them. So it really is a personal choice, and there are so many schools out there, you have a lot to look at. Um, but take the time, absolutely take the time, and don't necessarily rely on the rankings or the brand of the school, because that's not going to tell the story, and that's not going to fit for you. We actually have a program, our Emerging Leaders MBA, which is specifically designed for people that don't have a lot of work experience. Um, but we're looking for people that have done internships, uh, volunteer work in any sector. It doesn't have to be in business necessarily. But something that can show that somebody's motivated and driven and really understands um, themselves and wants to learn how to become a better leader as they move forward in their career. Um, other programs, you know, you really do need to have more work experience because that's the, the nature of the actual experience. It's being able to share what you know and what you've learned when you've been out in the workforce. This one is a little bit different in that it helps you guide your thinking um, and people use more case studies in this type of approach as opposed to um, using what you've known from working in the workforce for five to ten years. We're looking for no typos. Um, we're looking for you to answer the question. I can't tell you how many times we see applicants just answer what they want to answer as opposed to the question that we've posed to them because every school should be asking different questions. Um, one of the biggest faux pas is also cutting and pasting and I can't tell you how many times we've seen essays that say I really want to go to X school and it's not Bentley um, and that's a real that's a real rub. Um, but we want you to be true to yourself. We really want you to tell your story and what it is that you bring to the table in terms of being a, one of our students and um, you can't do that by cutting and pasting and being very generic so be thoughtful really think it through take the time to do it and no typos it means a lot it really does um, it's the great equalizer every student takes the same test and but not every student comes from the same background they come different school systems, they come with uh, different experiences, um, some schools grade heavier than others, so the GPAs aren't something that you can actually compare, but the GMAT is the same test for everyone, so it's really important, and when you've got a small class that you're trying to put together, um, it's really the only fair thing to do, um, but that doesn't mean it's the most important thing. Um, essays are important, recommendations are really important, it's amazing to me how many people don't pick the right people to give them a recommendation. Uh, so it's very important that your entire application is done thoughtfully and thoroughly. But unfortunately, even for those people who say they don't test well, the GMAT is very important in terms of that process. Do be on time. Um, and that means not too early either and not too late. Um, dress appropriately, obviously, like you were going to a job interview, that's very important. Mm -hmm. um, relax. Um, don't have canned answers. Think about it. Have a conversation with the person that's interviewing you because what we're trying to do is really find out who you are. We're putting together a class, a cohort, and so when we're interviewing, we're trying to figure out how would you react and interrelate with other people that we're considering for this program. Um, so it's really important that you show your true colors and don't answer what you think somebody is going to be wanting in terms of an answer. Um, and this goes to two, also making sure it's the right school. You might find in that process that, you know, it's not feeling right for me, or it is. So it's, it's a mutual um, process that you really need to go through.